Okay, now in this video, I'm going to show you how to install uh, all the drivers you need <coughs> so your computer can communicate with your tablet and you can uh, install ROMs, uh, do whatever you want to do, install TWARP and all that stuff. Okay, so mainly you need is four drivers. Okay, but this, this one, the uh, latest Google drivers, you do not install this. You just unzip it and you keep it in a place where you know where they are uh, in case you need it, okay? I'm going to show you. We might have to use it, okay? But these ones right here, you have to install it, okay? It's, it's three of these. So, uh, all these drivers, plus the drivers for your, for your tablet brand, is all you need, okay? So I'm going to show you how to install these drivers, okay? So these are my uh, Google drivers. Uh, I have it in my uh, music folder, so, okay. <clears throat> so you have to unzip whatever drivers are zipped. You have to unzip it. Uh, okay, so let's start with this one right here. Okay, and this all you have to, to uh, do is, is press Y for yes uh, and press enter again. Y for yes and press enter. And I'm going to ask you this next and ask you this is the uh, Google drivers and you install them. Okay, so this is all done. Okay, that part is finished. So we go back and we're going to install this one. This one looks the same, but it's not. Okay, so watch this. Oh, okay. This is the zip. I'm sorry. Is this one that the one we need? I'm sorry about that. These are the same one like this. Okay. This is the one that is going to give you the uh, command prompt that that uh, you you will need. So make it uh, a desktop icon and press next and see. This is what you want to use every time to transfer or install anything in your computer, okay? There is going to be a shortcut in your desktop, okay? So that is done, okay? So now we're going to install these drivers, okay? Uh, it's right here, the folder. So what we're going to do for these drivers, you have to add legacy. And you have to disable the uh, security system in your computer. For that, you go to recovery. Uh, that was setting, by the way. And uh, you go to restart. Okay, here you go to troubleshoot. Uh, advanced option. And you go to uh, yeah, I think you go here. Yeah, it's that upsetting. Okay, so you go uh, advanced option and you go here. Okay, and you press in here because we want to disable the driver signature enforcement. Okay, so you want to restart. And you're gonna press F7 in your keyboard, okay? I'm gonna show you, okay? See, right here, 
uh, the servo driver signature enforcement, you press F7, okay? And you're gonna restart, and now you can install the uh, the uh, MTK beacon drivers, okay? I'll be back, I'm not gonna let you see all this. Okay, uh, we are back now. So now we go back to the uh, to the uh, place where the uh, drivers are. Oh, okay. Okay, so now we're going to install this. Okay, so. Oh, for that we're going to have to open Device Manager, okay, to open Device Manager, uh, you go here, oh, you go to here, right click and press Properties, and you go to Device Manager. Okay. So now here we have to add Legacy to the drivers that we're going to install, okay? So you press here, and here, action, and you add legacy, okay? Remember where you are, drivers are, okay? So forget about this word and you know, all that. <clears throat> you want to choose to install it yourself. You press next, you press that, hard disk, Browse. Remember, mine is in the. Uh, uh, let me see. It's in documents. Okay, it's right here. Open. Windows 10. Open. And it's right here. If you got the uh, 32 or the 64, I got the uh, 64, so I'm going to put the 64, and I, and I say OK, and we're going to install, uh, well, you can install either one, you can install all of them if you want to, OK, but what, I, what I, we need is this, OK, so you press next. And next, and it's going to give you a warning, and you do it. It's going to take a little, little while, so. Takes like three minutes, okay. So let me let me come back when it's done, and I'll show you, okay. Uh, I'll be back. Okay, now it's done. So it say here some error code. Don't don't worry about that. Uh, so it's all installed. Press finish. And you want to see this here, okay? Many people ask you to to uninstall just this, not the drivers, okay? But I like to see it here so I know it's there in case I forget. So I just leave it there, and that's it. This is how it's, how you install install the uh, drivers in your uh, computer. So uh, now you can connect your uh, tablet. If you have warning up here, uh, let me see if it does. Okay, hold on. Okay, now I'm gonna connect my uh, my uh, tablet and see if you recognize it. He's setting up the uh, device, okay? 
So let me let me come back when that is done. Okay, now I'm back uh, again. Uh, let me see. Uh, so to check if the uh, computer recognizes the uh, tablet, this is the uh, AD, the minimal ADB that we install. Uh, you open this. This is your command prompt you're gonna use. Remember I told you. So to see if the tablet is recognized, you type ADB device. devices okay press enter and the uh, computer is going to ask you for uh, for permission so you grant permission right there and you press ok so you do it again And there you go okay so now you can do whatever you want uh, connect any tablet or anything and you'll be just fine all right so again thank you very much uh, like this video uh, if you have any comment please leave a comment and please subscribe okay thank you very much